what is up YouTube? In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a type typographic effect or typography. Uh, as I mean by typographic effect, I mean by this. Uh, where is it? The sector. See the text with the boxes. That's what we're trying to accomplish today. Now it's really simple. I actually did a Cyrex one, which came out twenty times better, because I actually took my time and uh, I made this one first. I made Cyrex very first, and then I made Sector. Sector I just made for a speed art, and uh, I'm sorry if I didn't try or didn't come out professional enough. But yeah, um, this is the kind of effect we're looking for. We're gonna go with two boxes, two um, rectangles, and then the text in the middle. Looking how it looks right now. So first, I'm going to want to create something. <laughs> um, we'll make a gradient overlay. Now I'm going to make a gradient. I'll use teal. Let me go to dark teal. Click on the white. Make it light. Click OK. I'm going to reverse it. Go like that scale I want it up to 150 and perfect okay now I have my background what you're gonna wanna do now is you wanna click on the new layer you're gonna get layer one next you go to the rectangle tool and you wanna make uh, I don't know a skinny layer I'll say hmm. I'll say half an inch. Uh, there we go. Edit, fill. You're going to want to use black. Click OK. Now we're going to want to drag this down. Make sure you leave a good amount of space, like I just did. And the same thing, we're going to want to go to edit, fill, use black. And there you go. You got that part done. Now we're going to go on to the text. So you want to go to your text tool. Uh, you can use a size 15 font. That's the best uh, for this type of effect. Um, you can use any font you want, but I recommend using Bebas. B-E-B-A-S. Look it up on Google. Uh, but yeah, what you're going to want to do is you want to just make, just type something in that you really want to be shown. I have that. Also, what you could do is uh, I'm gonna do this little effect that was well, not in my speed art, but it will look really good. You want to type something in, whatever you want, um, whatever you want to be in this fill. And uh, I'm gonna make it white now. So I'm gonna type in what I want again and then space. So now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to copy the text. Uh, I know it's a little far out. Well, all right. So this is what we're working with here for now. We made our first text, and then we made a second text. Now what we want to do is copy the text and hit Control C. Now click on the end. You want to space, and then paste. Space, and then paste. Control V is to paste. If you didn't already know that. Now this goes for a neat effect, especially when you're doing a black and white, like how I'm doing. Uh, this comes out for a lot neater effect. Okay, I'm going to fit onto screen, and I'm going to keep going. The longer you make it, uh, the better. Whoa, that sounded really homo. Um, the more string uh, text you make, like I'm doing, the better. So what I'm going to do now, since I made a whole line, I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to highlight all this, this whole line. You're going to hit copy, and you want to click enter, so you can make another line on the bottom. You want to click paste, control V, control V, space, control V. And when you want to keep doing this. Enter, control V, enter, control V until you have like a really big paragraph oh.
Okay, I kind of messed up. I don't know where. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go to all the way to the end of this line. It's dragging. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry. Um, I kind of messed up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna delete this whole lot, these two lines right here. Delete. And I'm gonna hit Control V to paste it. Control V. Space or Enter. See, you wanna have a good paragraph, a, l a pretty good paragraph, like. Um, I'm on a text, so here we go. We want a couple more, so I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna highlight all of them. Hit copy. All right, so that's good enough. I have uh that much. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the text layer. You want to right click and go to rasterize type. Now it's not a text layer anymore. Now what it is is more like uh, I don't know how would you say, just a normal layer now. Instead of a text layer, it's a t normal layer. So what you want to do now is hit Control T for the transforming tool. Now you're gonna want to tilt it to I don't know. I don't know what I don't know my angles. So you want to tilt it a bit to the right, as I did on my uh, tutorial. And now you're just going to want to enlarge, enlarge. Now it doesn't matter. Uh, now you want to hit enter. I'm sorry. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have uh, outside the background. As long as it fills everything in between the two rectangles. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to want to go to the rectangle tool with the text layer selected. Now you're gonna want to. Well, let me zoom in on this. Well, not really zoom in. Okay. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make a rectangle, but you're gonna want to leave space. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna make a rectangle, but I am also leaving space. All right. I'm also leaving space for the uh, rectangle. So it could be like a cooler effect. So as you can see, it's not touching the rectangle, but it gave it a bit more space. So now what you're going to want to do is you want to go to select, inverse. With the text layer selected, you want to click delete. And there you go. You got your nice little effect here. And uh, sometimes to make it look a bit more neater or a lot better, uh, you want to go to... Uh, the opacity uh, to c select two layers you you want to click on one layer hold control and then click on the other layer and then just lower the opacity sometimes that works for a good effect uh, but yeah so that's all for today thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and uh, yeah peace